Hey everybody, The Lost Joker, and I just wanted to give a quick uh, day one review for Company of Heroes 3. I've been playing since it came out. It's been out for a little over 24 hours now. And as a long time player of not only Company of Heroes 1, but definitely Company of Heroes 2, I'd like to give my thoughts. So off the bat, it is fun and engaging and overall good. So too long didn't read. Overall, I think it's good, but I have nitpicks. Let's get into it. Number one, there's no progression as far as I can see. I don't see any way to, I, I have this like nameplate here. I see no way to change it or upgrade it or anything. I do see in loadouts that there is skins I got for got pre-ordering it. This is implying that there is other skins you can get. I don't see any way to earn those. I don't know how yet or whatever. That might be coming. That being said, in loadout, I don't see any of the commanders. In order for me to look at any of the commanders, I have to go to play and then go into a lobby. And then I can actually look at the commanders. And then even then, if I want to know something about the commanders, I get no information. Like, okay, field engineering. It gives me a gustatory squad. I click this. There's no information. Why is there no information? Okay. That's not there. Now, this is all stuff. Everything I'm going to complain about is stuff that could be addressed and, f and maybe they'll put in later. So, right off the bat, main menu stuff. It's like, there's nothing really here. Okay. Another complaint I have is co-op versus AI. It's always victory point control. Why not let us have Annihilation as an option for co-op versus AI? I don't understand that. And also, in the previous title, it at least let us select what maps and difficulties we wanted. Here, there's just side, like 2v2, 3 3 4 that's it. There's no other options. I hate that. There was an animation when you were searching for a match in the last game. Here, there is not. I just feel like the UI could use a lot more love and care here. Like it's, there's nothing here. It feels bland. Um, I want something when I click on loadout that I can see everything about my U.S. forces. I want to see the commanders. I want to see, you know what I mean? The, or whatever they're called in this game, the battle, whatever. I don't know. Um, other complaints. Okay. So also when you're in a game, all right, and you're playing, uh, the camera doesn't follow a unit. So let me uh, let me just set this up here. I'll just show you what I'm talking about real quick. So when you have a unit selected in the previous game, if you double clicked on a unit's like icon in your company, or if you like right clicked on the unit's artwork or whatever it's called, it would have the camera go to that unit or follow that unit. That is not in the game anymore. I don't understand why that is. So, for example, right? I go over here. If I double click this. Oh, okay, now. That's weird. In another game, maybe that was patched. In another game I played, when I double clicked, it didn't work. Now, here's my main complaint. If I double click this, you hear that sound? It's it's indicating I'm clicking. You name it, we'll catch. Why is the camera not going to that unit? Also, if I right click, the camera used to follow in the previous game, if you right clicked, the camera would follow a unit. Moving to and you could like move the camera around as it followed. But now in this game, it you it doesn't do that. So, I don't understand why that doesn't make sense to me. You know, this is a decade later, why are you getting rid of features? You know what I mean? That doesn't make sense. Um, and then my biggest complaint I have, and it's not a big deal. Now, I'm using a mod to zoom out this far, but my, my biggest complaint overall is that when you win in one of the auto matches, um, in the previous game, when, the, when you won, it would give you... Not, not just a splash screen, but it, it, the camera would go over to the enemy base and then there'd be a uh, an action, like a bombing run or something would happen on the enemy base. And it was so cool. And then you'd get a little thing that came up. It would give you a reward. Sometimes you'd get 
you know, skins for your armor. You know, sometimes you'd get rewards. In this, there's none of that. And then it would give you the option of continuing play or exiting the game. And I always, because it was victory point control, would click continue play so I could finish with annihilation, like just take out the enemy base. In fact, I found that very fun because the AI, AI would take over my teammates' armies and then I would just have it out alone with the enemy AI. And it was fun for me. In this game, it just, it just, there's a very sudden and abrupt splash, which I don't like. Just says victory, and then you're done with the match. Whatever you were doing at the time, whatever you were working on, no, you can't do it anymore. You're done. You're out. It's over. Um, I don't like that. That needs to be changed back to how it was. Um, other than that, so uh, <laughs> that be all that being said, and I know it sounds like a lot of complaints. They're small complaints. They're small things and they can be fixed very quickly. I also have some complaints about how the AI behaves, but I feel like that's gonna be smoothed out. It's just a little janky to me. It act, the AI acts weird sometimes. Anyway, all these complaints being said, I do enjoy it. Overall, it is good. And I, get, I, get, I do give it, I give it a thumb and a half up because it's a new and better looking and improved and more fleshed out company of heroes than two. I see that in how the armies are built, but I just hope the potential here isn't wasted. Like, I hate that there's not a progression system for multi, like for you, there should be stuff we unlock. There should be all this. Now, maybe there's gonna be seasons. You know what I mean? A lot of games do that now. So who knows? Uh, please have other armies as DLC. Please, you know what I mean? Please have maybe other campaigns as DLC. And please uh, fix the cameras. Other than that, I, I do love it. I do love it. Company of Heroes 3, overall, good. Guys, that's going to be it for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and follow The Lost Joker. That's me on Twitch and YouTube. And definitely tune in next time for more Company of Heroes 3. Have a good one, everybody.